three months there's been improvement. We're going to announce six measures in, in increasing the supply of masks. First one, reusable masks. The Innovation and Technology Bureau led this effort. In the first round of the anti-epidemic fund, we have set aside about $800 million to subsidize the um, application uh, solution for the use of reusable masks so we could address the shortage of masks. Um, glad to announce that uh, with the hard effort of the Bureau, they've now achieved something and very soon we'll be able to issue a free reusable mask to everyone holding a Hong Kong identity card. That's um, the, um, you know, the, the mask uh, fighting the epidemic together. Um, uh, in Chinese, um, there's the character Tong, which also sounds the same as uh, copper. And in English, the name is Q, C-U mask. C-U is copper. That's, uh, C-U is actually the uh, symbol of copper, so we call it the Q mask. Or you can call it the C-U mask if you wish. C-U is the uh, symbol for copper. Or you could interpret as, uh, uh, I really would like to see you. So, see you mask. Every one of us is wearing the CU mask, the Q mask. Mm, there are three features about this um, um, pro project. There is a locally um, developed and locally applied, and there will be enough for all 7 million people in Hong Kong, so everyone will get a mask. And that's the second point. The third point is that it will be easy to distribute the mask. You just need to register online and you just wait at home and we will deliver the mask to you. In a moment, the Secretary for Innovation and Technology, Mr. Alfred Sid, will tell you about the research and development and the production of the mask. In fact, after this press conference, together with the R&D team, he will be giving you a technical explanation of the mask. He will also demonstrate to you the 